start of some techniques that I used to create this really fun mini album. This is an inspirational album I made for myself and I just thought it was a fun thing to do and I wanted to make it just to try new techniques and uh, to share them with you. So today I'm going to be showing you how I achieve this texture that is in the background of the front page. These pieces that you see here come from liveyourpassion.etsy.com and it's a collage sheet and it comes with multiple designs and you'll see me using them in a few different projects but here I've cut them up and added buttons and different things like that which I'll show you as we go through but today this is the main focus of the technique we're going to do today but let me show you the inside and here's some pages that I made this one is to live my dreams and to wish for new things and, and new ideas and and just something that meant something to me is what I wanted to do in this book. Here's some more pages. And as we go through, you'll see that there's different techniques. And we'll come by one by one and show you these techniques on some upcoming videos. So you can learn how to make something like this yourself. This is a fun technique right here you can see in the background. And this, this is a misting technique. So we'll show you all these fun techniques and you cre can create your own book. This is a, a really neat product that we'll be sharing with you. As you can see it has some texture. And uh, this is the last page. But for now, we're going to show you this really cool texture. And then we come back and we add some highlights to it. Because when I was finished with it, I really thought it was a little flat. And I wanted to add something new to it. So this is just one technique we're going to show you, but we have so many things planned on thingscrafty.com. We have a lot of contributing artists that are going to be contributing in different categories we have on the site, such as sewing, knitting and crochet, mixed media, art journaling, gifts, fun with kids. So we have someone that's going to show different plushies and one woman that's going to show different things that she's sewn and they're going to share with you reviews and book reviews and product reviews and comparisons. Stacy, she's our crochet lady. She is going to be showing you some comparisons of different hooks. So we have that planned and we also have a comparison planned of printable fabric which is actually what this product is. It's a printable fabric and you can see here you can get some very very vivid colors with it and now there are other brands that you don't get as vivid of color so depending on what you're looking to achieve if you're looking for more of a Victorian look or whatever you wouldn't want these bright colors. So I'm going to share with you in the future um, on this comparison of printable fabrics which brand you should use to achieve that more muted tones and whatnot. And there's a ton of them on the market and I have a ton to show you. And when Stacy does her comparison of the crochet hooks, we are going to have a big prize package of all the crochet hooks she uses in this comparison, we have to give to you for free. And she's going to include an ebook of hers as well. So we have great prizes coming up. We have lots of fun things happening at thingscrafty.com. We hope you'll come join the community. It's free to join. And we have a newsletter. So if you want to be the first to know about all the new things that are happening, then definitely sign up for that newsletter. Kira and I have a lot to share with you. And we have a lot of fun things coming on Things Crafty. So we have a fun project today. We're going to start off with one of these books. And this is by Colorbach. There are five pages, so that's actually ten because there's front and back. And they're made out of chipboard, and they run about $1.50. So it's this, this is a really inexpensive project. And we're actually going to show you, over a series, a bunch of different techniques that you can use that you can create one book with. So here I've painted this book, just one page, and I'm going to show you this technique that I have uh, discovered this is one of those old plastic doily. You might find it in a thrift store, but they're phenomenal for texturing. So you're going to need one of these doilies or some kind of stencil. I have a couple palette knives here and they come in a set of maybe five or six for around three dollars, three dollars fifty cents and you can use them over and over again. And I have this product called Texture Magic. It's a dimensional paint and it's real thick and, and helps to create a texture and I've got a couple colors here 
And I've got a thing of masking tape, and that's to hold down this doily so that it doesn't move when I'm doing this technique. So let's get started. So this kind of technique is good for creating the background of anything, a page, right. um, if you're going to frame something. It doesn't have to be done on chipboard either. It could be done on regular paper. Yeah. So I'm just taking it down now and, and making it sturdy so it doesn't move on me. So it comes out nicely. I'm not taking it actually onto the, the, the actual chipboard. I'm taking it to my surface. And I am working on a piece of tile. And I'm kind of stretching this too as I go. So this is what the Texture Magic looks like. It's nice and thick. I'll put it right here on uh, my masking tape. And I'm going to use two colors. I like this and I have a blue. And I may end up needing more than this. So you can just use, I start with a little because I don't like to waste it. So I start with a little and I can always add to it. So what you want to do is hold your stencil down as you go. And the idea is to get it into those little grooves. Okay, so you want to make sure that all those grooves are filled so that it creates the texture you're going for. And I'm using two colors because I think it just adds a little something to it. So you can do it over part of your design or you can do it over the entire, I mean over part of your uh, chipboard or you can do it over the entire thing. So I'm going to do it over the entire thing. And once you have this technique done, you got to let it dry, and it only takes a couple hours, it's not too bad. But then you could add pictures on it, you could start journaling, maybe add a piece of paper with some journal notes, and, and anything you want. You could even ink back over the raised surface and get some more color into there too. You could add a little mist of uh, sparkle, anything you'd like. So this is just a stepping point at this, at this point and just use your imagination to come up with different ways to use it. You know, and that's how we got to this point. We just started playing around with different, you know, tools and different products and the sky's the limit. So let me get this finished and I'll be back to show you exactly what it looks like when it's done. Okay, so I pretty much got it covered and what I like to do is go across the surface here and take off any extra and get it into any place where I might have missed and then I'm going to pull off my mask and just lift up your tape. I try to release all my tape at the same time so that I can just pull the whole thing off and don't distort anything. So pull out, unleash your tape <laughs> and then you just want to slowly pull it off and you're left with this incredible texture. Wow. And you definitely want to wash off your, your piece that you used, the doily. And let me lift this up so you can really see what it looks like. And there you have it. So you want to let this dry really well. And if you want to add anything to it, you can add some glimmer mist, which we'll show you on a later podcast. So have fun with this technique. Um, if you can't find the texture magic, you can get a little modeling paste and add some acrylic paint to it. And, and you kind of have the same thing. Yeah, the modeling paste is a medium, an acrylic medium that Liquitex and Golden sell. So you'd have to find um, one of your stores that carries art supplies, and it's called light modeling paste. You can add paint to it and uh, do the same technique. So go ahead and get messy. So here I have my Texture Magic piece that we, we made earlier, and it's completely dry. Now, I thought this blue was a little flat for it. I want something more. So I have this product called Pan Pastel, and they're these really soft, kind of creamy, eyeshadowy feeling um, pastels that you can put a little on your finger. They do sell applicators as well that you can use with a palette knife. But for the, these purposes, I'm just going to take a little on my finger and I'm going to rub it on top. And this is going to highlight and add a little more of that blue. So it almost gives it a turquoisey look, you know, and not so flat anymore. It makes it pop. Whereas this other blue of the Texture Magic just didn't do it for me and I felt it really needed something more so you can go around with your finger and just add color anywhere you feel like it needs it you could even add another color if you had another color like maybe a little green would look nice accenting it you could do that as well so have fun with this technique and you never know what you're gonna come up with